A uh, beautiful little musical interlude to take us outside. It is a stunner of a day. In fact, a scorcher, perfect day to get outdoors and back into the office of Mr. Ben Getz. Um, ben, great to have you back, sir. Great it's been to far be too here. long, man, far too long. Thanks, We're man. gonna tackle a plant that for many seems to be a bit of a conundrum and unnecessarily so. Celery is something that we love. Absolutely. It's beautiful to have yeah. in salads. It's uber healthy, one of our superfoods. Yes. But there is this misnomer that it is almost impossible to grow, which you are saying is just so wrong. It's so wrong. The <laughs> truth is you can grow celery all year round. Wow. It is particularly sensitive at this time of the, of the year, summertime it doesn't like too much heat but uh, we can get around that uh, we always can find a way but i love the fact that it is um you know seasonal literally all year round yes. okay so where do we start what what is the ideal kind of condition to plant in where do we begin the process okay well the first thing is to look at what you're planting are you planting seedlings um these are very uh, lovely uh, mature seedlings um, and then of course you have seeds so it will differ depending whether you're planting the seedling or the seed um, the most important thing is your companion planting that's something that we go back to yeah, on every show all the time, yeah. um, especially now as I said summertime they're a little bit sensitive to the heat they'll be more susceptible to white fly and also they become bitter if they dry out okay. so uh, what we want to do is plant them quite tightly um, in front of us, we have an example of sweet basil and lettuce. Those are perfectly good companions for uh, celery, along with things like tomatoes, um, the brassica family, so broccoli, cabbage, uh, uh, spinach, beetroot, these are all and good also companions. And quite, quite nice and leafy as well, which is going to give them a little bit of extra coverage. Yeah? That's exactly it. It's, it's shading. So you want to actually plant them quite thickly at this time of the year. And also, if you, if you have a slightly cooler, slightly shadier microclimate in your garden, a slightly shadier corner, that's the place to do them. So I'm just going to do a quick little demo planting a, um, a seedling seedlings. here. So we'd move the, the mulch aside. That's always the case. And I have to commend you. Our little garden is looking beautiful. Beautiful coming into the new season, eh? Thank you so much. All right, so we just open up a little gap there. Pop this guy in. Tuck him in nicely and then bring, of course, the mulch back. Mulch keeps uh, the moisture in, which is, as I've said, very important for the celery, is to keep it well watered. And one of the common mistakes with vegetable gardens is, is uh, not having an irrigation system. Ah. So unless you've absolutely got somebody there to water every, every day. day of the year an automated irrigation system is essential and uh, celery will will the the more water it gets the the sweeter it will taste and, and the, the more, more lush it's going to be exactly um, and then just very quickly before we wrap right. up i um, mean when planting the seeds major uh, difference there uh, the the of course there's always a difference um, the seeds are super super small um, oh, as, yeah. as you can see here, really, really tiny little seeds. Um, so one of a nice thing to do is to mix uh, a little bit of uh, fluffy potting soil mix. Um, okay. pre, to pre-mix, um, you can even use coffee grinds or flour, something to kind of help spread it out. Uh, you open up your mulch. You could, of course, do it in a seedling tray, but yeah. simply just as a, a little demo here, you open up your mulch. Um, literally sprinkle your seeds along. At a later stage, you're gonna you're gonna um, thin them out because, of course, this is about a hundred celery plants. Yeah, well, I was there. gonna say now they're, they're um, gonna be growing very closely together. Um, but yeah, oh, no, I think we get the idea. Ben, thank you so much. I love the fact that we can plant this all year round. This would make, in fact, a beautiful addition to a sassy salad. I think, Ewan, what's in your sassy salad this morning?